If the NFL can hear this, hey, do a musical football game, I promise you. It'll make a lot of money, it's gonna sell out, I promise you. Music and football have always been intertwined. From entertainers, to fans, to players themselves, the NFL is already a musical. We ought to be Hollywood. Go home. Everybody. Oh, go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Yeah. Go home. Yeah. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. This offseason in LA, the NFL and music industry took their relationship a step further. The first date? Nobu in Malibu. The goal of it was to be able to give a taste and a slice of what the music business looks like from a record label on the inside. I want the baby sideline at a game because you guys know the baby. He's gonna come by around eight o'clock or so. Say what's up to you guys. Y'all yeah. got uh, y'all got Yeet, right? Yep. He's like the king of the young kids, uh, the kids right now. <laughs> he really took over. That last yeah. album was crazy. Him right? and Youngboy really like. Talk flip-flop between hip-hop and football as legends of both rubbed elbows. Anything that you see I need to work on? I mean, just play to your side. You got to control yourself. Calm down. Calm down. You got to control yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because we have control every down. They don't know where we're going. They have no clue. Touchdown, DK Metcalf. We really, as receivers, we dictate a lot of defense. Speaking of defense, the Chargers DJ wasn't about to miss this mixer. Everyone always, like, no matter what event, locker room or before the game, they always like, hey, DJ, you get on the ops. And then finally one person told me, like, hey, man, you should do more, you know, to help yourself in your career. Don't get bored, man. Events like this allow, like, rappers, athletes, all us to come together. After their night out, Career day for players with a passion for music began at Interscope Records. We're super excited to have you guys here. I mean, again, that you guys are passionate, want to be here, learn about music. I think today, hopefully, you'll get that. The lesson plan was to show how much more there is to the music industry than just music. For example, Olivia Rodrigo is very passionate about sustainability. So on her red carpet, she was wearing like vintage Versace or she was wearing Vivian Westwood from 1992. I really know nothing about music, uh, the industry, and business-wise, I just love creating, so I feel like I can do a lot of learning and growing in the marketing and just like overall content stuff. Just simplify your content. If you want Starbucks, tell the story of you stepping out, grabbing coffee before the game, or whatever it may be. Don't underestimate the value of some of the just day-in, day-out stuff that you guys do. I don't really like to put everything I do on display, and you know, I feel like people see enough of me. There's a level of connectivity that has to be there. If you have a record already, your day in the life, throw your record behind you. Yeah. It's that simple. I really want to get more of an insight into the, the business side of things. Rapper Darren Waller is no stranger to the studio, and he made himself right at home at Interscope. Yeah, told him I would be a buff before I had business. Play with the family, playing with your life. Just got the hops hurt with you. I hit the studio all the time. I've put like four albums out. Anytime I have any kind of free time, I'm making beats. But I feel like life is always about rhythm. Any and everything is rhythm. Walking, walking, one, two, anything. When you're running, step, step. Routes and passing games are built off of timing. You know, you show up in a certain window of the defense at a certain time. The quarterback expects you to be there at a certain time, at a certain depth. Pass is intercepted by Derwin James. Music is like global. It's like where everyone does it, everyone enjoys it. It's a way to connect everyone, honestly. It was a successful day, networking and planning for the future. That got us thinking about the past. Music, well, it's so important in your life. I mean, you get married to music, you get buried to music, you make love to music. And of all the sports, football probably lends itself to music better than any other sport. No one understood the connection between music and football better than Steve Sable. And even though he's been gone for 11 years, the words he spoke, like a classic tune, still resonate today. Set the tempo! 
Set the tempo early, baby. Tempo! Let's go! Here's some music. You gotta hear a little music, because it puts a smile on your face. And then you like destroy people. They don't even really have no set rhythm. Yeah, I ain't letting me get in no rhythm. Let's get in some rhythm here. Let's get in the rhythm. Yeah. Let's get into our rhythm now. Get into our sync. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Gotta go, gotta go. Are we in sync? Most rhythm on a football field is intentional. <laughs> Playing in rhythm. Sometimes synchronicity just happens. You just gotta keep this rhythm going a little bit. Now we're sync, let's go! However, the melody works its way into the game, there's one thing for certain football and music were meant to be.